Alright, welcome back to yet another episode of uh, Wasteland 3. My name is Saiken, and today we're continuing the Supreme Jerk blind playthrough. Uh, it is episode 15, still only two death. Uh, that is one in seven so far, so we're doing good. Today on the menu, we are exploring the bizarre exterior, which could mean whatever we're going to find out. We're not even sure where we're going. That was the cliffhanger the last time. If I had to take a guess, potentially inside of the building with that uh, frozen clown. Hmm. My guess was dead wrong. It is inside an area that we've already cleared. Okay, cool. Or not. That was uh, their dental headquarter. Still can't pick uh, the lock, unfortunately. But uh, once Ramos has leveled up, uh, we can very much pick all of the level seven locks. Finally, good. Today then uh, will go uh, to be the smuggler's camp clearing because that's our next job currently at only three hundred dollars so earning a little bit of cash would be good we invested all of our money in ammunition okay okay generator for light machine guns fair enough how far is their viewing distance? Gotta hand it to you. Takes a lot of gumption or a hell of a lot of stupidity to ignore my warnings and stroll into my camp. Unfortunately for you, I got the numbers advantage and the high ground. It's all over for you. Boys, you know what to do. Okay, that oil tank can explode the generator, I assume. The answer is no, it cannot. Murphy goes uh, right into... ...into cover. And I think Quan will be the unfortunate victim of needing to run up and disable that thing. He will start to burn. But listen, killing two sentries at one uh, at once, absolutely worth it. <clears throat> Another explosive barrel, certainly don't want to stand there. Uh, we want to deal with this guy, that devastator. Ramos moves in, half cover, time to get that <coughs> smuggler. Murphy takes a smoke. Can we move up? No, I mean we can move up quite far, but not far enough, I guess. Hawkbite attacks the only target that he's in range of. Before going for cover. Ah, that guy up there is a problem. Still trying to solve it. But not enough AP. I'm 
afraid that's not looking very good. Central moves up. One hunker is down. And we might get shredded. Luckily the guy instead tries to stabilize himself with medics uh, with medicine. Okay, this devastator here needs to go. Oh nice! The uh, provost is fighting with a gun. That is not too bad. Not too bad at all. This hopefully takes away all of their cover. Uh, the answer is no. Yeah, we need to hit that Devastator. There we go. Headshot. Marshall Kwon, my good friend. It's this guy. Pulls out a decoy because we don't want to take damage. And then begins to heal himself. Lucky mega crit. I like that. Murphy could kill him, but it's a low chance. We're going to mark him and then take a shot. Not a kill. Ramos gets him down. In the meantime, <clears throat> we're going to demoralize those three guys. And start to do a kill, which is great. I love it. Get this guy out of here. And we do have the option to ambush. I want to take that. Ramos does need to heal himself. We're just taking two AP over. I was hoping that ambush would have a higher crit chance. They are directly going for Ramos instead of the decoy. Well, no. Maybe some of them are going for the decoy.
All right, we're healing ourselves. We're getting Hawkbot uh, to heal. Fawn moves over here. And does have a level up, uh, which we can use to get an extra AP. And we're upgrading nerd stuff. Fantastic, good. So, now that that is uh, dealt with, He's reloading and hunkering down. This guy is a problem, this guy is a problem, but this here is, I think, the bigger problem. Alright, these two are just taken out for this round. Fantastic. That was good. And we took away Ramos' uh, cover. That's not so good. Shooting Smuggler in the hat, on the other hand, is great. Followed up by a kill. Uh, not yet reloading. <clears throat> I want to wait until... I want to wait until it's completely empty because uh, then we get a free shot. gun I don't want to waste too many uh, cells yeah but central is killing and with him killing things are looking uh, looking better for us Ramos moves over. And we just lost our beacon. That's very unfortunate. The Provost is good. I like what I'm seeing. Great hits. Central single-handedly just erased everyone. Leader boss kill. Okay, we got a nice, nice damage boost here.
Walk by charges up. Lucia gets into position as well, and I think Juan primarily needs to heal himself. Miss. Into a couple of hits. Takes that one over. We're shooting at the arms. That crippled them. Fab fabulous. And Ramos taking actions over. That fight went much better than I anticipated. We really started at uh, an absolute disadvantageous uh, position. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Well, he got what he deserved. How long does uh, that last? Okay. Tell you what, this time we're just using a couple of Snickers. Level 5 uh, armor. Rectech armor, okay. Level 7 Assault Rifle. Yeah, I mean, look, all of it decent loot, but certainly nothing to write home about. What we can write home about is our level up. I start to like Charisma. Seems to be a decent skill. And we're getting automatic weapons because the next perk that I want to get uh, with him is that Stormer perk. Good. Almost done with coordination. I like that a lot. And we're picking lock picking. Yes, thank you. See? Safe as lock picking seven. Status effect resistance plus ten percent. I mean, it's a uh, 500 uh, cash isn't bad either. I don't know, man. Uh, the helmet isn't that good. If I look at critical chance, armor, and crit resistance, and this year has status effect resistance is okay. But it's nowhere near the quality of the other helmets. Level 10 sniper rifle. Does this set an improvement to our current? Yes, it is. Uh, 
Unfortunately, the old sniper rifle. Had a lot of modifications that we can't really get out anymore. Too bad. A little bit of armor, level 10 armor. And level 10 leg armor twice. Okay, so for starters, what's your armor here? It requires five strings. And we do have four strings. Well, uh, we're going to get there. In the meantime, Lucia gets a bit more armor. Level 5 chest piece. Now let's just increase the armor. Okay, no one else has uh, three strings, right? No, two on Quan, and that's about it. I'm not even sure if we had more strengths if we would sometimes just survive those massive attacks. Who are you? Did Mama Carter send you? Rangers were here to negotiate with the smugglers, but they attacked us. Those smugglers were bastards. They took everything we had because they knew we were desperate. Okay. Mama Cotter set everything up. She arranged for the smugglers to pick us up here and sneak us into the city. She was going to meet us at the gate and find us beds and food. We're refugees, every one of us, driven off our land by the Plains gangs. Now we're stuck here with no food, but we'll probably freeze before we starve. We need How can we help? To find someone who can carry all of us to the city and soon. To the city? Oi, daisies. I've heard that merchant caravans stop at the bazaar. Maybe one of them could help us. But the monster army won't let us into the bazaar, and we don't have any money to pay for transport. You're the only hope we have. We'll wait here and try to keep warm. Okay, we can't also just refuse all the refugees. That wouldn't be right either. But we need to talk with Mama uh, Cotter. This here needs to stop. That's the last batch that's getting in. Period. DJ RIP is back. Are y'all listening? This one is for the newly in love. Hope your heart's not going to bleed too much. Ow! Good, we're organizing for their <clears throat> for their passage and then we go back to the mama uh, double check with her what's up and we also will go and find that synth that uh, I wanted to hunt for a while Dr. Colescott, is it true? we had crazy clowns roaming the wall ah pig Aces. <laughs> this won't hurt a bit promise Ah, the self-medicating stories. Sure, take a look. I don't think that the that, that would be any helpful. These could go. Who 
Uzi can go. The assault rifles definitely can go. And we're back to almost a thousand. Let's see what this guy here takes. We could use your help. There is a group of refugees topside who needs transport to Colorado Springs. Not my usual line of business, but I don't see why not. My normal rates would apply for a one-way transport. Mm -hmm. KSS or barter would help us, but we are not good enough. Three hundred dollars it is. Sure, they're part of my next caravan run to come. So long. Good. We'll end the episode uh, here. I need to do some cleaning up, uh, mainly um, rob a few of uh, those, um, a, tr a few of those safes. And once that's done, we are going to see each other back in Colorado Springs. Thanks for watching, guys. And always remember uh, that like button can be pickpocketed. So train your pickpocketing now uh, and steal a like from it. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. Bye-bye.